Okay. Welcome to this uh, Java introduction. And um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm in here in uh, NetBeans, and we'll only be using NetBeans. And uh, yeah, the first thing we'll do when we open up NetBeans, there is usually an introduction, uh, what do you call it, like a welcoming screen, but I got rid of it. So this is just what I see when I have no projects open. So first step is to create a new project. Let me see if I can zoom in. Get the zoom work like that. Here. Um, this one you can use for opening a new project, or you can just use it in the file menu. Uh, file menu there. So, okay. Um, just put this here. And here the first thing Java application, that's okay. So just press next, and you can name your project. And I'll name this one introduction. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there. And I have to zoom up when I'm writing something. So because I'm using this uh screen draw application. It works like that. So project name, new project. And let's just go on, press finish. And we have created a new project. And uh, then it's listed out over here. Let me draw a bit. Uh, choose a red one, green one, red one. Okay, so this is where all the projects are. Um, zoom in a bit so you can see them. So, and that's new project is our project. So, all right, and. So this is a standard template for opening up a new uh, project, the first uh, Java class, and uh, we'll be getting to classes and objects later on. So for now we can just, this is commented text, and I'll explain a bit about this. This is what we write to ourselves, we write to other people who going who's going to use the program. Uh, the computer does not bother about this text. Um, so we can actually just get rid of it, because it really doesn't matter. And the author says, um, we can also write our own comment in text. I can show you just two of these, and then you can write something that the computer will just skip, and this is just text to ourselves. So um, this is a new project. All right. Um, yeah, let's see. And... We can get rid of this one. And to do code application here, we can get rid of this one. Okay, so Java needs to have a class to be in when we when we start. So it says here public class new projects. So the class we in called new project. This is also what the um let me show you what it says up here. Get some new project. So the this document name is the same as the name of the uh, the class. So that's uh, if that just sounds too crazy or too strange right now, it doesn't really matter so much. We'll get used to it, and I don't really think we'll be using it so much. So, but it's good to know that uh, this document is named the same new product Java Java document named the same as the class. Um, so this uh, yeah named the same. So all right. Uh, what's important now is to understand that uh, in order for Java to uh, work, to start anywhere, uh, we need a main. This is like uh, the main is where we start, this is our starting point. So we can, this is the main, this is main here. Um, yeah, you can zoom in also. Whoops, main. So, and like this. Okay, so. Um, public static void main string args. This part we'll just skip for now. We really don't be bothering about it. Just where it says uh where it says uh, main it says main is what we be looking for because the computer will then start from here and then just down arrow, go down here. So it will read all the lines that we create of code and then go down. So actually the computer won't start from the top. Uh, let me zoom out again. So, sorry. So, 
the computer it doesn't start from line one necessarily it starts from the main so from here actually just right out of the, this uh, open curly bracket is where the computer will start looking for lines of code to read uh, and then whenever it reaches this one uh, let me get rid of that do like this so from here to here is where it will look for code so from uh, and then second, third, and then go down. So when it reaches the this, you can see it reaches. I think I'm making an arrow like that. Uh, is where it will end. So and is where it will start because it says main. So and we can put this main inside any uh, document of, of Java, and then it will just start from there. And I might mention this as well. Maybe I'm mentioned saying too much but here um new project java is a java document the same as this one here you can see that there is uh huh. <laughs> now you can't see it anymore here but you can see it here there's like this little green thing it's like a play button because this is when we uh, run our project it, uh, it will start from here because this is um it is in this document class that our main is found so Java will look for the main and then run it from there so um, yeah this is uh, there's a lot of this stuff in Java that we just need to uh, accept and this is why usually people say that it's a very bad beginning programming language because you have to deal with these to some extent deal with these things right away and it's uh, it kinda sucks but it'll get better okay so Let's move on. And I made a list to what I wanted to show. And uh, let's see. Um, I kind of have a problem. I can't. S yeah, there it is. Just see, seven minutes so far. Okay, because I have to stop at 12 minutes because um, I think YouTube only allows, at least in this kind of uh, file type, it's only for uh, 14 minutes or something. So I try to stop or each video after 12 minutes. So. Otherwise, YouTube won't accept it, and then I've just wasted my time. I have to edit the video, so whatever. So, okay, so we can go on a bit. And I find my document written what we should see. Okay, create a new project. So I showed that introduction to variables. Let's do that in a basic calculation. And I'm not sure about the basic calculation because I didn't really test it. Uh, so let's try to see if it will work. Okay, then I can also show how to run projects. So now there's we can run this project because n but nothing will happen because the uh, what's inside the main is just completely empty. So let me draw it again just for clarity's sake. This one. So from here to here is just nothing empty, blank. So nothing. We can run the project, no error messages, but nothing will happen because there's no code inside these two. So. Um, all right, so let's create a code and let's start by, by creating a simple print statement. And here in NetBeans, um, there is a shortcut because no normally you have to write a whole, and I don't even remember what it is because I only use the shortcut, but uh, something like system dot out dot whatever. We can see what it is, but I just write these four letters and then I hit the tab key on the keyboard, and then NetBeans. Yeah, system dot out dot print ln. This is what the print line we will be using in for like forever almost because it's very useful. Now we actually have a piece of code. So let me repeat it again. Let me write it again. So I'm using the shortcut. Um, I can actually let me do like this uh, text there. So this now I'm in the screen screen draw. So I'm not in uh, let beans. Take it down. I think I'm okay. S O U T small letters and then plus the tab key equals uh, system dot out dot print ln. Ah, I'm running out of space, but whatever. <laughs> okay, out of space. But um, yeah. So. And now we can actually, so this is how we will be printing uh, something. And uh, this stuff, you can see like this, uh, is um, is for string. So so I should also be mentioning string. And I'm 
have a bit of time. So I can write something in here. Uh, this is a string. It's very clever. And now let's run the program and see what happens. Um, so uh, we can just do uh, that one. Um, uh, I hope it's you can see that. Should so let me press press that one and see what happens. And uh, yeah, so we go to the output instead. So we have a now I'm skipping through the the what do you call them? The tab? No, um, I don't know remember what they call. But up here you can see. So now it runs. This is a string. This is a very small size. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see it. Uh, I hope you can see it. This is a string. So working um, yeah. and so that's what it did and you can write another text and it will print that and um, I'm actually running out of time now so let's just let's just stop this one say uh, introduction one so let's we'll continue uh, this in the the next video so bye for now